So you hate Instagram, you hate that you can't grow on that platform, you hate their algorithm, and most of all, you hate Reels. The platform has steered away from what has made it popular, and that is photos. Instagram has become a social media platform that has lost their identity. Everything they ever implemented was because they saw someone else did it first. Instagram stories came from Snapchat. They started introducing long format video, IGTV, that came from YouTube. And now they have implemented this stupid, annoying, short form vertical video content, which they copied from TikTok. But what if there is an app out there that you can share your photos, share your work, where there's no algorithm, everything is in chronological order, and get this, you can post your image and it's high res. I was able to post my GFX 100S shots without having it be compressed, unlike Instagram. This app is called Vero, and I've been on it for a couple of weeks now, and I'm going to share my experience with you guys as a photographer. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, I am Tung, and today I wanna to talk about my experience on being on Vero. I've been using this app ever since Peter McKinnon made that video where he shouted them out. Peter Lindgren did the same thing. I had Vero years ago, but it didn't make any noise or gain any traction like it has now. Like you, I was frustrated by Instagram's algorithm. I've been using Instagram since it came out, like literally since it came out, which was like 2010, 2011. I'm fucking old. Instagram has changed throughout the years, making changes to its annoying algorithm to crush our reach more and more until we stop getting organic reach. What Instagram wanted to do was to have you guys pay so that your photos can reach your followers that you've amassed over the years, but not sharing to anyone new who hasn't discovered you yet. Uh, that's when I knew that this company doesn't care about their creators anymore. With constant changes and no one knows what the exact science is to the algorithm is, people can only speculate. You have Instagram gurus telling you to in order for you to gain more followers, you must use less hashtags than before. You must sell something on your store so that Instagram pushes you over people that don't have an Instagram shop. You must now create short format videos that is 10 to 15 seconds long to please the algorithm gods in order to be seen. Now that's just fucking crazy, man. <laughs> it's frustrating. Listen, I've tried, it's corny as fuck. It's so stupid that I have to do these stupid dumb things like TikTok dances, or do these cringy, trendy TikToks uh, trends to even get noticed on this stupid platform. I've actually haven't grown organically in five years. To be honest with you, I've actually lost like, I've slowly lost around 9,000 followers throughout the past seven years. So I don't know what the hell's going on with Instagram right now. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. So because of all this, the desire to share photos on this app fizzled like i don't want to be a grown-ass man doing cringy shit on instagram just to try to please the algorithm for likes and followers i just want to be able to share my photos and engage with my followers like the good old times back when instagram was actually good enter vero this brand new old app that just came out of nowhere again and this time it feels different than what it was before uh the app is a beautiful looking app I love the user interface of this app. I've been sharing my photos again. It's been great going back to what I feel is like the old school days where it isn't a mythical algorithmic creature trying to uh, dictate my creativity. <laughs> I think the faster people get on Vero, the faster we can start building a community. You can post your photos at full resolution here at Vero. It won't be compressed like it was on Instagram. People were able to zoom in and look at the details on my photos that were taken with the GFX 100S. That's a 100 megapixel digital medium format camera, which is insane. So I was doing the same with my phone on Vero. I was just zooming in on my picture to see the details. And I thought, this is new. <laughs> we don't have this on Instagram. <laughs> so suck it, Instagram. Honestly, you can do more than just post photos on this app. You can post a link to your YouTube videos, your music video, anything you want. You can share movie TV reviews or recommendations. You can recommend books that you have read to your followers. And I feel that there is a lot more to this app than just to share photos. But if you really wanna share photos, that's cool too because that's what I'm doing. These other things you can share and review and recommend is a good way to get your followers to know you a bit better. 
I think on Instagram, you have your stories, but not everybody is doing exciting things every day to warrant sharing stories, but everyone consumes content on different mediums. It's not just social media platforms. There's books, TVs, movies, and music. So by sharing that, you're actually allowing your followers to connect with you more on a personal level. And Instagram would never do anything like that. Never. <laughs> another thing you guys should try is uh, try out the Vero on your desktop. That's another way I've been sharing my photos. And let me tell you, it's way better than Instagram's desktop. It looks great. Uh, my grid looks freaking amazing. It looks awesome. Uh, viewing it on a bigger screen is so damn beautiful. And the app isn't glitchy. It hasn't crashed on me or anything like that. So, which is great. However, I'm still a little confused on how it is that we get discovered here on Vero. So if anyone has any tips on how we can grow our account on this platform, please write them down below. Cause I'm really, really curious. Uh, but overall being on Vero feels good. Like it, it really does. Like I don't mind this platform at all. There are still things they can do to improve, but I like what I'm seeing so far. I don't really care for reels and short form content. And I can speak for most of you guys out there too, that you may not want to do that as well. You don't want to get into video creation, more time invested into learning how to video edit, uh, learning a new software program and all of that. Like some, some of us just wants to share the photos. That's it. We don't want to have to do stupid cringy ass dances to get our work shown. So I think Vero is uh, the new safe haven for photographers. So everyone migrate over. If you're sick of seeing reels and no photos on Instagram and you're bombarded with seeing random people on your feed, uh, start to come over to Vero, start sharing your photos again. It's going to take some time, but I think it will be worth it once everybody else migrates over from Instagram. Um, Instagram is just a platform where girls promote their OnlyFans account now. Uh, it's never going to be a photo sharing app ever again. Everything is so vain and so shallow on that app. So I, like, I really hate that app. <laughs> but there you have it, folks. Uh, that's my take on Vero. What are your thoughts on Vero? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, 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 guys. I, I'm looking for more people to follow on Vero. So if you're a Fujifilm shooter, come hit me up on Vero. Let me know that you came from this video and I'll follow you back on one condition. I need to see at least six photos posted from you. I need to see that you're posting regularly or otherwise I'm just going to unfollow you. I really want to see more Fujifilm shooters on that platform. Come on over to Vero, try it out and let's build a community all over again. <laughs> Uh, and that is it for me, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. Um, everything from TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and now Vero at I am Tung. And once again, my name is Tung, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Goodbye. Okay,